do exercise and all that, sometimes it could be really tough and quite challenging. Um, but with knowledge of the way you should conduct your affairs, the way you should take your drugs, how you should take your drugs, it becomes a little bit, uh, it, it becomes easier. Sam Eferaro is a journalist and has been living with diabetes for many years. Sam is living well because he's able to afford the expensive drugs required to manage the condition. But not everyone is that fortunate. Far from January, February, March, April, this year, I did not take any drug. There was no way. There was nothing. There was no assistance from anywhere. It's a very dangerous route to take. But what you don't have, what can you do? Many Nigerians, both old and young, according to experts, are coming down with type 1 and type 2 diabetes almost on a daily basis with the attendant complications like kidney failure, blindness, amputations, amongst others. The ones who have symptoms, the other 50% would usually have um, frequent urination, in, uh, they'll complain of thirst, they'll be losing weight, they'll feel tired. Some will have recurrent balls, um, recurrent yeast infection in women. Whether it is type 1 or type 2 diabetes, what the experts are saying is that one can still live a normal life if they do the right thing. Diabetes is not something that you will know you have. It's not something that is evident and, um, and that you're able to, to spot easily. So we have to be educated and, and bring about awareness to, to go and check. We need to teach our children to eat well. We need to eat well, balanced meals run away from all the sugary and sweet stuff. Show that you are on it for life. And the only way I think government can step in is to make these medications affordable for people. As Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark the 2018 World Diabetes Day, 14th November, the experts are calling for increased awareness, weight control, and public-private partnership to provide access to life-saving medication.